Good afternoon. It is May 26th, 2022, 1.43 in the afternoon. Did I just say good morning? I'm not sure. I'll have to, re I'll have to check it out on the replay. This video is going to be the unboxing of this brand new Dell laptop. The last video that I made was giving some information about this laptop, showing how I placed the order on Dell, how I found this particular computer on Dell's website. Here is what it is, Inspiron 15 3000 laptop. For those of you who know what to do with the Dell service tag, I'll put the service tag in the show notes, the description under this video, if you want to go look up the details about the computer yourself. And if you want to go see the previous video I made, if you go to a new tab and type youtube.com and then forward slash LWTDB, which is the acronym for my channel live windows training doug betts press enter it will take you to my landing page this is on youtube so site awesome. we've got i've got the and then click video uh videos to get to the list of videos that was the introductory video that was playing there for a moment then come down in here to my recent uploads and you'll find this one how to select a new dell laptop that tells the story of how i went about selecting this one that laptop that you're seeing in the little uh, preview flash there is, is the old laptop, the one that we were replacing, uh, like that. So what I'm intending to do here is unboxing and initial setup of Windows 11. I'm going to set this up with a local account. At one point, I think I, was, I would set it up with my client's Microsoft account. But then I decided, no, I'm going to do it as a local account and then attach it to his Microsoft account. The reason why I'm doing it that way is because when I connect remotely to the computer, I think it works better when it actually has a, an account that was originally created as local. If it's a Microsoft account, it's a little more cumbersome for me to connect remotely, I think. I haven't fully tested that out. So here I'm just cutting the lines, cut, cutting the tape to open it up. I got to cut down these two lines here so that I can pull this tongue out and open the top. I'm going to try not to speak while I'm making a lot of noise because that doesn't go over very well. Open the flaps up like this so that the box can sit on the table. Now, the, any loose items are going to fall off onto the table, but I can, I can hold the side of the laptop to keep it from falling. Lay it down, make sure I've got everything out of it. You know, I was intending, no, you don't know this. I was <laughs> intending to do this bit with the box because that power supply would slide up and down and also surprisingly the laptop itself seemed to be sliding up and down that's interesting no i think it was i think it was packed right i didn't really look at that when i opened it did i because when i was turning it up and up turning it one way and the other while it was still sealed it was more than the power supply that was sliding back and forth. I thought, eh, that, that doesn't sound good. Take these eggshell pieces away. These papers are, I never really need to look at. Oh, it does, it does actually tell the different ports and things on the computer. Oh, you know what? That's not going to autofocus. I don't think you'd probably need to see that. I have the focus and exposure on my cameras set to static, so they don't keep, you know, changing. Because that's annoying. Let's switch over to what I call the keyboard cam. And look at this closer. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. And the first look at the computer. Nice looking, very uh, matte finish, non-glossy finish. And the screen is also a matte, they're not non-glossy. We'll connect the power adapter. Power cord plugs into the power brick. Go around to the other side and plug in the power in a moment. I'm going to pause the recording to do that. Now, it doesn't go in there. Oh, wow. What about this? They gave us the wrong AC adapter. It won't go into that hole. Well, of course not. That hole is for speakers. Power connects fine on the other side. You'll note right now that there's no LED indicator on the power brick because I don't have the other side plugged in. I'm going to pause the recording for a moment. Just a few seconds later, I unpause it. There we have the light on the power brick. This computer has a power button right here. It looks just like one of the keys of the in the numeric keypad area. I'm going to adjust, I'm going to pause again and adjust that camera. Okay, now I have the camera set for auto adjust for exposure and focus. There it goes. That's the uh, on button right there in the upper right corner. Once I get this running, I'm going to connect my capture device so that I can bring, so I can get a better recording of the screen. Here's the HDMI for my capture device. I'll go ahead and plug it in. There we've got a Dell logo and the spinning circle of dots. I'm not connected to the internet at this point. I'm not going to connect to the internet until I've done the initial setup. This computer does not have an ethernet port. At this point right here, I'm most likely unable to, oh yes, it does give me the, the screen settings. So I'm gonna pause the video again and get this displayed in the video better with my capture device. That's still not working with my capture device, so at the moment I'm gonna assume that I have to get further along into Windows before that signal goes out through the HDMI port. I'm not sure. Just moving forward and see what happens. So add a second keyboard layout. Now I'll skip that. Here's where it's asking to connect to a network. I do not have any option to click on for saying that I do not have internet. So at this point, it looks like it's forcing me to connect to the internet. Now, previously, I think we found there's a few ways to get around this, or there were. I don't know if that's still going to work. Alt F10 was one method. Alt F4, Fn, and Alt F4. None of those are working. All right, I'm going to pause the video and go review other methods for interrupting this point. I just wasn't remembering the keystroke quite right. It's Shift F10 on this computer. I'll have to hold down the FN key because the function keys require the FN key to get the function key rather than the action on those keys. So the FN key, Shift F10, that opens up a command prompt window then Task MGR, which opens Task Manager, press the Enter key. And then click on More Details. 
And then I need to scroll to network connection flow. Scrolling down this list alphabetically, here's network connection flow. Just for curiosity, I expanded that item to see what it shows. Now, when I end task on this network connection flow, this window will go away. There, it went away. And that brought us to the next window for the license agreement. I'm going to close Task Manager. And then I'll type exit and press enter to get out of this command prompt window. So that took us to the license agreement. I'll click accept. And then enter the username. Now I want to remember what username we're using for this. I'm going to pause the video again. Okay, the name is Greg. That's what we used on his old laptop. Click Next. And then I'm not going to put in a password now. We do use a password on the computer, but I'll add that later after I finish configuration. So click Next. I'll leave location on. Uh, since this is a laptop, I'm going to leave Find My Device on. Diagnostic data, I usually turn that off. Inking and typing, I turn off. Tailored experiences, I can kind of go either way on that. This is about websites you browse, personalized tips. I think this client would make use of that. And advertising ID, I'm okay with that for this client, and I think he's okay with that. Click Accept. This part for preferences, name, email, I want to get past this without doing any of that. I'm going to click Next. That works. I'll accept the Dell privacy policy. Use my information to register McAfee service. No. I, I press really hard to remove that check mark. <laughs> and then this is doing the initialization set up. I'm going to check. Well, no, I'm not going to check to see if I can get that on screen yet because that takes it away from the video. I'll let this go ahead and run through. It's set up. You might want to fast forward through this or you can skip ahead five seconds at a time by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard or 10 seconds at a time by pressing the letter L on your keyboard. And you can speed up the video by holding down the shift key and tapping the period key on your keyboard. Now each of those has the, the opposite effect available, such as shift period speeds the video up and shift comma slows it down. When I said the L key to jump forward by 10 seconds, well you can use the J key to go backwards by 10 seconds and the letter K will stop. The video. So the JKL are real convenient keys for you to use when watching YouTube videos. And then the right and left arrow keys do the same thing. They advance forward or they go backwards, not by 10 seconds, but by 5 seconds. We're still not connected to the internet. So at this point, it's not trying to do any updates or authentication. This is just how long, apparently, it takes for Windows 11 these days to start up, to initialize. Seems to me the last time I did this, it was quicker. It's there. Here we go. There's the desktop. So that is the very basic initialization. At this point, I have a checklist that I go through for the rest of the setup. My checklist is currently developed over time for Windows 10. So I'm going to have to start modifying it for Windows 11 setup. I don't think I'm going to do that as a video this time until I've had a chance to really figure out how I want to do that with Windows 11. So that's it for this video. I hope that's been useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.